Hi crafters, this is Rika with Paints and Glitter here and I'm just coming along to share with you this awesome haul that I received from Tonic Studios. I took advantage of some sales that have been going on and now that the US Tonic Studios website is coming along and getting all of their items uh, put together out for sale, then I wanted to make sure that I uh, got a hold of some of the bundles that were made available. I checked today and a lot of these are still available as well as the spring sale that's going on. It's a little flash sale. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. So if you want to take advantage of that extra discount, you're going to want to jump on that right now. Uh, that is a 15% off sale. And if you are a kit subscriber, then of course you can use your TCK code, which is 10% toward that sale as well. Now, on Tonic Studios right now, there is another sale and it is for the Craft Perfect items that includes cardstock as well as adhesives, anything like that. So if you spend um, $30, then you get an extra 10% off of all of your purchases that have only Craft Perfect items. So if you want to use that, you cannot stack it with the other two codes available. However, you get to pick and choose which one works out for you depending on what you're going to buy. So I'm going to quickly run over what I've gotten and then in the future you're going to see me use some of the uh, these items of course. But the first one that I wanted to mention was the Craft Perfect uh, Low Tuck Tape. This is new to Tonic Studios, and this is something that is going to be super useful for those of you who have die cutting machines that uh, want to make sure that your items cut precisely and don't shift around on your plate. It comes with this little dispenser. I've already placed my tape, pulled this here. apart, and then put the tape in here, but it does have a little matching um, little area here that I want to mention. It's the little piece of metal and it does have a little piece here that you do have to match up when you snap it back together. But it's super easy to put together. You can reuse this as many times as the little tape will handle it. And this is perfect for those of us who like to use the nice uh, mirror cardstock that's nice and shiny so that it doesn't leave indentations or make um, uh, peel away the color. So uh, this was one bundle. I'll have all of the bundles listed below and as long as they're available go ahead and snatch them up because I don't know how long they're going to last. Uh, I happened to grab the jute from uh, Craft Perfect. This was just at a really they're low really price. Really nice. It's a nice quantity. There's 25 meters worth in here so wonderful for the 3D projects as well. Um, in fact I shared uh, one little um, ticket booth that I made and then I just strung along a bunch of little banners with it and it was a lot of fun. Of course that one was in yellow but this one is that natural color. Perfect for masculine cards as well if you're looking to make some of those coming up for Father's Day. The next bundle that I picked up was the Craft Perfect Smooth Card Bundle. Um, so we had been asking us customers for a nice big bundle of the heaviest cardstock that we can use for either card bases or 3D makes. This is 300 GSM cardstock and there are five sheets per pack, but this is the kind of card that you want to use to make your mini album covers. Also your nice boxes if you make a lot of cards and like to put them in a little box to give away or sell. This is wonderful. You're going to get five packages of that 300 GSM card and this is a wonderful way to get you started if you're just beginning with card making and you want to use quality product so that your cards don't warp when you glue all of your layers together. This is the way. The next go. bundle that I picked up here was at a fantabulous price. They all were, but this one here um, was really awesome. It was a craft perfect uh, bundle and I believe that's how it was titled. So this one came with uh, this gorgeous pearlescent card. This is 92 pound and there are five sheets in here for this particular one. The color is cosmic copper. Wonderful for masculine cards also as well as feminine. I just released a video in fact using some of this color and um, it was really, really beautiful. So um, the next one was the classic card in bright white. This is 80 pound cardstock, linen weave on one side and smooth on the opposite. Wonderful for stamping sentiments and also for card making. This one here is an 80 pound pack of jet black classic card. It's also the linen weave just like the white and there are 10 sheets per pack for the classic 
Um, the next one was this color here, and this is the coral pink. It is absolutely fabulous. My next video, in fact, is going to be something made with this color because I thought it was so beautiful. I just wanted to use it right away. Also 10 sheets per pack. Linen weave on one side and smooth on the other. So if you want to stamp on these colored ones, you can do that as well. The next one was the ballet pink. I just love this pink. I've used it in the past and it lends such a classy color just to any uh, feminine cards that you want to make or uh, 3D projects as well. So this is 80 pound uh, cardstock, 10 sheets, linen weave on one side and smooth on the other. And last but not least for this particular bundle was the gold pearl. And this is just a very nice light golden color that are, is going to match all of the other golds, of course. But you can definitely layer this onto black or onto white and it's going to look absolutely fabulous, very classy. That's 92 pound sheets and there's five in total. And this is a satin finish, just to let The you next know. bundle is the mirror card bundle, and this was all of the shiniest paper that you can actually get from Tonic Studios. However, it starts off with the mirror card in honey gold, which is a satin effect card. So this one is also a nice uh, gold, but it's a smooth finish. And this is 92 pounds, five sheets per pack for the mirror cardstock or the specialty ones. And then it goes on to this other gold here. And of course, they're highly reflective. So it's hard to capture the color here because you're going to get the actual uh, mirror effect instead. So this is Harvest Gold. It's also very elegant. This is what I like to use for uh, wedding cards and the like. Then the emerald green, you can see there, and also the ruby red. So that was a wonderful bundle as well. And I'm going to follow that along with the next bundle, which was the Craft Perfect and Embellishment bundle here. And of course, I'm going to have links below if I didn't already mention that. This one also had the Harvest Gold, which is that 92 pound um, high gloss mirror card. It came with the Heart of Gold, and this is so gorgeous. If you haven't seen the Christmas makes that were from this past December on Tonic Studios, you may want to check out some of the samples that the design team made with this cardstock. It is just fabulous, and you can also color onto this if you like, and then you'll just get that um, kind of uh, the heart, the little golden hearts peeking through if you use any other Nouveau product on that. And this, by the way, is 280 GSM. The other card stock that came in this bundle was the Coral Pink, and that was the classic card. So there's 10 sheets in this pack. And this also included the embellishment mousse in the color Mother of Pearl. So you can use this mousse on any one of these cards. I wouldn't recommend it for, of course, the, uh, the mirror card, but on these two, you can definitely use this. This is a product that's water-based. So you can paint with it if you like to. You can just grab a little bit of it with a spatula, put it on your craft mat, and then water it down as you like and use it with a brush. Or you can use it as a dimensional paste. To give paste. you a sample of what dimensional paste would look like if you use it through a stencil, if you see here, this is just a different color, of course. It is, uh, I believe it was penny red or something like that. I can't remember now. But um, you can use it there. And depending on how much you want to apply to it, you're going to get either a really thick consistency or you can smooth it out before it dries and it will look like that. So really beautiful texture for card making or for your 3D projects. Then this bundle, by the way, came with or was in addition to this adorable die set here that I picked up. <laughs> The beautiful bow box. So uh, I'm laughing because there's a little bit of a typo here and I remember now uh, that this um, was announced. However, it creates this box here, comes with all of the instructions and the reason that it's not in its packaging is because I also picked up this amazing set here. Now, let me show you this way because it's not going to fit in my camera, but this is the biggest uh, folder that I think I've ever seen to put uh, your dies into and this was also a bundle so very quickly just to mention this was a large ring binder die case it came with the refill so that's why I still have 
this because this was a refill of three envelopes with the magnets and the case comes with three envelopes and the magnets. So they're the typical uh, envelopes that you receive when you purchase a showcase die set. It looks like this on one side and then on the other it has the little button closure so it snaps really nicely, very nice and strong. When you get this of course the magnets are going to be back here. Um, I just went ahead and opened everything and put it in here. They're going to fit right into this binder and what's really neat is that it has a double closure so you can take them out like so if you're using one. Here's the magnet. You can use both sides because it is strong enough for that. And then here is the die set that I already put in here which is the beautiful bow box and I just to show you this one very quickly it does come with all of the panels here to create an adorable box. Here is the base piece and what you end up doing is cutting this one out twice just as the instructions uh, say and then all of these panels here allow you to create a box of course that looks like this and then that gorgeous bow is actually made with this die here here are the little tails so you can even layer that it has a little tab piece for the middle of the bow and then this one here allows you to create a little slit to close your box it'll close with this piece here which creates like a little belt loop and then also here are the other pieces that create the shape of the actual box which is a little bit different and also there are these pieces here which I'll mention in the video that I'm going to make regarding this box because you're going to want to pay attention to the size of those. And um, yeah, so it's a really beautiful, beautiful make. I look forward to sharing that one with you. And it's just so nice to be able to fit it beautifully here. Now I do have a lot of mine labeled and everything, but depending on, um, of course, what you're comfortable with or what your preference is, you can either put one or two sets in each one of these envelopes and then have it fit perfectly in your binder and be nice and organized so that way if you want to do it by theme like 3d projects in one mini albums in another you can definitely do that and this was at a fantastic price so if it's still available of course i'm going to have all the links below i would jump on this one in particular just because of the price point being so much lower than it usually is and of course, if you have any questions, feel free to leave either a comment or reach out to me. I look forward to your uh, comments. Give a thumbs up if you enjoy this kind of content. And as I always say, I hope that you can be inspired and be blessed. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a beautiful day.